welcome everyone to tablinfo.com and uh, how are you all i hope you are doing well so this is me ritesh and this is my channel ritesh is dancing with data do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet if, uh, if my videos are making sense to you do subscribe don't miss to hit the bell icon then only you will get the regular updates about tableau and data so today we are going to talk about lod functions and a lot of folks have asked me to uh, create an example or a video on the same so i took some time but i wanted to give you you know some quality stuff over there so this is one of the most popular blog on uh, lod that is top 15 lod so i'm taking one example of that and i have a plan if uh, i i get a good response from all of you then i'll try to cover the other examples as well today i'm going to cover the example number 8 which is mainly based on lod include so what is the lod function lod level of detail expressions can be useful when you want to calculate at a fine level of details in the database and then reaggregate and show at the course level of detail in your view fields based on include level of detail expression will change as you add or remove dimensions from the view so this is the definition but as we go through the example automatically you will understand everything this is just a definition so i'm also going to include the, those links over there so that um, that will that you will get at the youtube description you'll get the blog and remember that you that the workbook is included at this blog so you can go and download the workbook that i'll explain to you right now so let's go to the example here we go so you can see first we'll go through the example then we'll talk about the concept and how we are going to apply apply the application not the software application but how we are going to apply that concept so let's go to the sheet and what we want the final product is like that so this is quite useful because maybe you might like to have uh, this very particular i just made use of users filters and that's why you see over there so if you drill down this new york you go to this very particular sheet which is very simple where you have you are just uh, moving product over there in terms of profit and at the same time you are having a reference line uh, which will with the which is having the scope per cell and uh, the line will based upon the target profit so i was talking about the profit and target profit so you have two uh, measures over there profit and target profit so it shows okay you have crossed the tra target okay you have not crossed the target for the the state new york they are total 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 and out of those eight products six have crossed the target while two have not crossed the target so that is what you see over there it is showing you the percentage because if i do calculate 6 by 8 if you do it will come as 0.75 or say 75% so that is what the requirement is i want to show it like this okay new york okay users filter they are now uh, they are 8 8 divided by 6 into 100 sorry 6 divided by 8 into 100 that will give me 75% so this gives me an insight that okay okay my new york uh, state is overall it is having profit but if i drill down inside this state i can see there are two products. this part is relatively simpler how we can go back and understand the requirement over there so here you have that very particular so what we have done nothing but we have dragged state to rows and at the same time there is one field called difference between actual target and target profit which is a simple calculation profit minus target profit so fair enough so if you go back over there you can see the so i have just broken that into an another sheet so that i can uh, make it clear that okay target profit is this profit is this the difference is 925 
fair enough so we have got the difference which is easy to understand and we have to just do the subtraction between profit and expected profit or, or the target profit fair enough but we want the other portion over there right this is the one which we are looking for so what we can do i'll go back and i'll say okay this i've got the part one is okay for the part two i need to count the number of products right for example and let me make it this is a product so if i just concentrate on one particular state say new york since we started with that only so i would say keep only so i want one two three four five six i want to count this and after that i need to divide that with the total count of the product distinct product okay but at the same time i don't want this product over there so i need to make the function i need to make the use of function include so what i'll do i'll do i'll go i'll say okay i'll say including product what i'm getting some of difference between actual and target profit this we already know this is we are talking about this one but here we are including including the product now and what should i give the name difference between between actual and granularity is at product level fair enough so if i drag it over there what will happen nothing will happen it will sh show me the same graph but we don't want this but we want something else we want to count the number of products we want to get that very particular ratio so our work is not uh, done yet so now we need to count so in order to count uh, the product which have exceeded the target profit we will have to write another calculation so that calculation would be number of products above target So we can use a function and if difference is greater than zero, then give me one, otherwise zero. Fair enough. Now I get this num. So let me, let us make use of the same and remove this one fair now i'm getting something and now it is giving me at least it is giving me the, that value six one two three four sorry for the stating here one two three four five six so i'm close now i need to calculate the ratio so let me have another calculation that will be like percent number of the product so here i need to get the sum of that very this very particular calculation which is num divided by total count of the that is what we want total count of the product okay We'll get that as well and let me get this over there here you go so we are quite close 0.75 i think we just need to format it in a better way wanted and let us try to see this very particular visualization now and after that you have to just uh, create this another 
worksheet which is nothing but th this is just drill down of those particular states so you'll have to make use of use as filter you have to just create a new worksheet and you would say okay i will drag product over there and i have action as state now this action has been created by default with the option that you are choosing over there use as filter so that will happen automatically you don't have to create a different action for the same So now it is very clear and now I can go to any state I can get the percentage I've included the product and because of that now I can see the percent success of that very product in that very particular state so this is Ritesh thanks for watching watching this particular video and if you are if my videos are making sense to you do subscribe to my channel because because Ritesh is dancing with data and I hope you dance with data. You are dancing with data as well. See you. Bye-bye. Until next time.